What's up, you guys? Um, I just wanted to talk to y'all right quick while I'm waiting in this car loop for a couple minutes. Um, I just wanted to say, y'all, because I always talk about investing in yourself, and, and part of investing in yourself is also doing your own research. Like, you know, people always want a handout. People always want somebody to do the work for them. We literally have to all do the work. Once you're given the information, it's our job. It's your job to make sure you apply the information. It's your job to be resourceful, to use Google. Like, Google everything. Get to the point where anything that you don't know and you want to question, it, it comes down to the words with me. If somebody say a word or somebody, you know, say something, I'm like, hmm, what does that mean? Or even sometimes if I think I, you know, I have a word I want to use, then I'm like, let me make sure that that word means what I think I'm saying before I say it. You know, so I do that sometimes. Um, too, it's just like this is just to build the knowledge, to build your brain, to challenge your brain. It's like a brain, I don't know, it's like really playing games with your own brain. Like, you have to feed it. Like, what you feed your brain, like I was telling y'all a couple videos back, it's important in what you feed your brain because that affects who we are, what we do, what you're feeding your brain. So, it's like literally. You know, when you're trying to get stuff done, you're trying to accomplish stuff, you can't always expect a handout. You got to use your brain. Use what you know. And if you don't even know how to do it, you're supposed to use your resources, which is Google. We live in, you know, it's 2022. Google everything. Even with social media, like I always say this, like, because I learned so much. from so, Like yesterday's gym I got. This is why it's important to follow the right people on social media. Like, everybody's doing something on social media. You can be, you know, some people are only there to just consume um, funny content or whatever. But you have to have purpose. Like me, I have a good mix of my um, timelines because, you know, I want the, inform the informative information that's going to help me where, where I'm working on within, like, my career, my life, with bettering my health. You know, just bettering everything about myself. I follow that type of content. And then I'm going to follow the little ghetto stuff that's going to make me laugh. And, you know, the, you know, the little gossip a little bit. I'm going to tap in just for a second. But you got to flood yourself more so with the good than the negative in your timeline. And that's how I just feel about social media. Like, it's about having, like, a healthy balance with it. Um, that's how I feel because those gems I got last night from the girls, um, they, they had a podcast. So I think it's called Beyond the Chair. But, um... What's her name? Das. I found her from India. Like, man, when I tell you, they, like, because of my lane for what I'm working in, it's just like, I really be needing. She was touching on that business credit stuff last night. Um, well, really, she wasn't talking about business, business credit, but she was talking about how to get funding for your business, like if you're a startup business and stuff. So this is what I'm just saying. It's like, it's so good to, to really just be following the right people because what she got, like, I've been I've been working on myself the past two years like within business and just learning certain things for where I'm really trying to go within my career. So it's just like I feel like every day I'm getting another piece to the puzzle, like this big puzzle that I'm trying to solve of how to get to my success, what I deem as success. The bits and pieces is just like falling into play every single day. So I'm just like so happy. I'm so grateful that I spent the fifty nine dollars yesterday. And that's what I'm saying right now. Y'all know, y'all, if y'all been following my journey, y'all know I just moved to Texas. I don't have a job. I don't have no income. Like, you know, God told me not to do my reselling business that I was doing. God literally told me to sit down and just focus. Um, you know, he just told me to sit down and focus. And every day he just keep on giving me direction on what I should be doing every single day. So I'm just... You know, because all that hustling and bustling out there, chasing business, doing the pals, doing all that. Like, just, and even with the gigs that I was doing, part of me kept thinking, like, okay. I kept trying to go out and do a DoorDash or something. like, Because that's like, I feel stupid knowing that I can be making money, but I'm sitting here not chasing money. But he doesn't want me to chase money anymore. He wants me to sit there and create so that the money can flow into me. Like, you know, he wants me to really add value, like really bring value to what I'm doing, not just be chasing a buck, like, you know, and that's really the secret to being a millionaire, like, I was just watching this before I came out here, I was just watching, um, this other guy, this trap, it's called, um, yeah, what was it called, Rich versus Poor Mindset, The Real Trapper, and I just, like, I, oh, I'm sitting in one of these other videos, I don't know which video is gonna be posted, but y'all might see the other one, where I was just talking about, I love to see black people in certain rooms, certain positions, because it knows when you see that one face, it gives you hope and be like, okay, 
especially like a dude coming from a rough background like that if he can do it that's how you get motivation it ain't hate it ain't none of that it's just knowing that if someone else that came from even more rougher backgrounds than you or they had in way more challenges than you or even if they had the same ones or whatever to know that somebody else like you if can can do it and then they they, they telling you you know what they did like they might not be telling you the every step in between the way but they telling you that it's possible and when you believe in God and when you know God and when you locked in with God like I am now you really believe you really be believe that anything is possible please don't mind the baby in the back yelling my baby always loud y'all and I am a single mother um you know so um yeah I always have my kids <laughs> so um but anyways like you know and just with me going through this right now I'm just like I don't really feel like I should just be sitting, chilling around, but I also understand that I'm still investing in myself. And even with my last, like, I don't know where God just sent me money yesterday. Like, like it's just funny, like, how as soon as I think I'm getting down to my last couple dollars, here he goes, sending some more money. Like, it just goes to show that it really is God. Because I was getting mad. I be getting mad. I was getting mad the rest of a couple, two days ago. I unfollowed the girl. <laughs> I'm so petty because I'm like I don't want to hear this fucking motivational shit no more so I unfollow all my motivational people <laughs> like I'm like because y'all just keep telling me the time is here and this is this and, and nothing is happening and I'm getting faced with this challenge and faced with this challenge so this journey is just a crazy journey a crazy journey to success like when you follow a God and you literally let go and let God and you ask for him to do, you know, work miracles in your life. You literally got to trust in what he doing. It's time to move up, y'all. You really got to just trust in what he doing. But I just wanted to let y'all know right quick, just to always keep the faith and always put the work in because faith, with the, faith without works is dead. You literally have to be applying yourself every single day every single day and even if it's just one small step you have to be investing in yourself you really do like that the one things you do every day all of that stuff add up over time it's putting pieces to your puzzle that you're trying to solve and once the puzzle is solved you've made it out you, you've created the life that you want finally you finally figured out the whole picture at the end of it so it's just like you really got to just stay down throughout the journey that's what i'm just really learning like let go and let god Put the work in every single day, even if you fall off one day, because some days it's like that. We're human. You're going to fall off some days, you know, but you got to just be like, okay, today I, maybe I gave social media a little bit too much time today. So tomorrow, not going to do it. Or even if you realize like now it's three o'clock, if I'm like, okay, I gave social media too much in my morning. The rest of the day, we're going to focus. We're going to be in our books. We're going to be reading. We're going to be, you know, watching some um, videos, get some mentorship or something like that, or just working on your goals, writing journaling, like journaling, you know, where, what you what you see for yourself, your goals and stuff, and just how to, you know, be better. Even if it ain't like, you know, cause goals can be anything. It ain't just about financial goals or work goals, career goals. It can be health goals that you have for yourself. It could be just working on your self esteem, you know, like do that journey, just writing down affirmations every day saying, I am beautiful, I am this, like, I am healthy, I am healed, you know, like literally it's about that kind of work, like truly putting in the work to become a better you. And that's just what I'm an advocate for. I'm always going to be an advocate for becoming a better version of yourself. Um, because at the end of the day, especially if you're a parent, you know, I'm big on this parenting thing and being a good example for your children. So I really stand firm on that. But like I was saying, um, before I hurt and get off of here, I had spent like out of the last couple of dollars, couple dollars that I had I took that initiative and invested the $59 I think it was for the girls um for their bundle deal for the course and man like that was just the information I needed you know what I'm saying like so it's like you really got to take that chance on yourself sometime and don't be a, a, ever afraid to invest in yourself like you might feel like oh this is my last couple dollars but just understand that's that same couple dollars that you would spend going to buy a drink going to buy some lashes going to get some nails going to buy some um crab legs like you know any of that stuff like you just gotta make sacrifices sometimes and sometimes you gotta go without the fancy stuff that you normally want like that temporary satisfaction like he was saying in that video and it's true like and use your resources get on youtube watch other youtube videos like follow the right people on social media like i was saying because they can really be you know a major factor um, into control.
contributing to the, the knowledge you get to get to success and to answer your prayers, whatever you have been praying to God for, like, you know, even just certain things, like, they'll come across the timeline, timeline, my girl Malika, like, when I'm feeling down or going through some stuff, she really come through with the word on time, like, even if it's just a word, it don't even necessarily gotta be, you know, somebody giving you some game like that, just keeping you motivated letting you know that you're not the only one going through something like you know it just be that stuff like that and just to know that god worked miracles in her life like that for her and he got her out of her sickness he can heal he can do all you know it just it just the down to the small stuff nah you just got to be grateful and you know and that's it um because i'm getting close up here so i'll see y'all in the next video deuces